friends welcome to one little coder in this python pyscript tutorial we are going to learn how to use html form and connect it with pyscript so you are going to see an html form just like you are seeing on the screen and we are going to use the values from this html form and then do something with python using pyscript this is our python pyscript tutorial series and uh, let's get started so as you can see on the screen right now you have got a, you have got a name and you have got a name and then you have got a drop down and then you have a submit button so once you click the submit button you're going to get something like this ethan hunt is the name and then you're going to get ethan hunt is a good human being from india if you change the name let's say one little coder then you're going to get one little coder is a good human from india so this is what we're going to code we, there is going to be a mixture of html and pyscript let's get started the first thing i've got my vs code set up inside my vs code i've got a file called form demo.html so as you can see this is a very bare bone code at this point we have got our html tag html open and close we have got our head open and then head close and then we have got our title open and title close and the title is i've just given it html forms with pyscript the next thing is we are saying the we are, we are loading the pyscript component so the first one is the pyscript css the second one is the pyscript javascript file so at this point our html file is ready for us to do something whatever we want to do so the next thing that we want to do is we want to include the form the form that you see on front end is this so you need to develop these components you need to have a, have a text box name and then you need to have a drop down and then you need to have a submit button and then you need a space where you can display the output so let's get started with that so as you can see i've already coded it i'm showing you so we are using a form and it's important for us to say form on submit is equal to return false the reason is because when you click the form button you don't want it to take you to a new page rather you want it to stay on the same page so form on submit return false and then you have got label the label tag is helpful for you to define the label this one and then you are saying name name of the label is label and then you have got the input box the input input type is text and then you have got the id which is the most important of all and then you have got the name and then you have got the value the default value so at this point you can see that you have got you have got um, some some value here like if i refresh you would see ethan hunt as the default value here because that's what we have given here so at this point we have got the label and then we have got the input next i'm just using a br break to give a break and then we have got the drop down the drop down is given by the select tag the select tag um, you, you need to give the id so name is countries the id is countries and then what are the options that you want so in this case i've got three options one is uh, you can see india india germany and netherlands so you can see india germany netherlands and uh, their respective label and their respective values now the select is done the final thing is we want to keep a submit button so the submit button as you can see you have input type the submit right uh, if you want to have a colorful uh, button form so the first thing is like uh, the form wouldn't um, actually you know what I, I would I should save this and then show you how does it look by default so the form would look like this right at the start it is going to look like this because there is no CSS component to this you've got you've got a name here and you can you know say something here and then you can submit and then you're going to get some output like if you have defined it at this point we have not defined anything so there is not going to be an output so the next thing is when we click when we are going to design the submit button this button you can see that the type is submit because it's a submit button what is the id the id is btn form uh, this can be used to implement css component and then the value of it submit so now you're going to have one more attribute that says pi s which, which is like pi script on click so when you click this button what do you want to do so that is what you're going to have this here so when you click this button you want to call a function called sub okay so when you click this button you want to call a python function called sub sub that's what you're defining here at this point you're closing your form and then the next ui component that you have is you've got the output you've got the output label and then you've got the um you've got a space like a, an empty placeholder where you can show the output which is id if you have seen my dom manipulation this is exactly what we have done in dom manipulation which is taking a document and then manipulating that that's what we're going to do now at this point everything is good so the next thing that i'm going to do now is i'm going to write the py script the py script component which is going to do what we want to do so what is inside py script we already know that within our py script py script open py script close we want to define a function called sub so we have a function called sub and then we have args and quarks and that will take whatever that is input that is coming in 
And then what we are trying to do at this point, first point is we are trying to copy the element, the document of this. We are trying to like we we know that we have defined a space like a placeholder where we want to give the output. So first we are trying to get that in line. So you can see that we are doing element output and then getting that in result place. Once again, if this is not very clear, you should definitely check out our DOM manipulation video that uh, in that I've actually gone through this in detail. So the next thing is I want to create like a temporary text. The text that I want to create is I want to say if some whatever the element is like, for example, the name here, the name here is defined by name. The ID is name. So I'm saying element, right? Element of name and I'm accessing the element, which is value element name and value and take that. I'm creating an F string here. You can see I'm creating an F string is a good human. This is a text now. And once again, I'm creating a Python variable. I'm not creating a Python variable, but I'm just using Python um, expression saying element countries, element countries, this one dot value. So what I'm trying to get is I'm trying to get what is given here, what is selected here. And I'm trying to form an F string here. And I'm trying to say that the placeholder that you have here, which is our document in this case, we are trying to do DOM manipulation and then write this place. Like we are going to replace whatever that is available in that place with what we just created, which is the element value. For example, if you see here, it would say one little coder is a good human from India. So that's what it would say. That's that's exactly what we're going to do now. So let me let me save this and you can see that this is getting refreshed. And um, now when I say Ethan Hunt submit, says Ethan Hunt is a good human from India. I can say one little coder is a good human from India. One little coder is a good human from Germany. One little coder is a good human from Netherlands. So you can you can write whatever you want to. You want to write um, Virat Kohli, who is a very popular cricket player in India. So you can you can do whatever you want. So while you have got the HTML form designed in HTML, the backend you don't have to go to a server. Usually, what happens? There'll be HTML form, there'll be a PHP file. You would collect, you would link that HTML form to a PHP file or you've got an Angular JS or something back in that is posted on a server. Right now, what we are doing is without any server, you can actually do this. That's what we are seeing this. So the next thing is uh, right now, you know, this is working fine. We have successfully managed to learn to design a form and connect that form with our PyScript that we can actually, you know, the, do the Python thing and show. Just to just to show you a few few more things. Um, before I show you a few more things, I want to show you that, you know, this form doesn't look that good. Like, you know what, it's it's quite plain and nobody would like to design a form like this. So what you can also do is you can now use CSS style components, cascaded style sheet is what CSS is. You can use style components and then beautify this form, like make it look like a form. So I've just literally gone to, you know, uh, gone to Google and then search for CSS form CSS. Um, I, and I've got some style sheet and then you can see that there is a style sheet like I'm not going to go over this uh, CSS, but you can see the submit button should be in this color. This a text should be in this color and you know, all these things that so when you over this should be in this color. So I want to save this. Okay. And I'm going to come here. Now you can see that the color is changed. So the, the text box is in a different color. Uh, this is in a different color. And when you submit, you, you get to see this in a different color altogether. And in fact, um, in fact, you can now play with this. For example, you don't like the submit button in this color. All you have to do is go here. background color. Okay, this is better. So this is a background color. I'm going to save it and come back here. You can see the submit button color has already changed. So when you hover it, this is a different color because for hover you have set a color. And when you are there, it is a different color. You can see how it changes. The same thing you can do it with text as well. Like for this text right now, um, like right now you just have a border. But you can again give uh, hover effects like when you hover there, what is the effect on all these things? So you can basically redesign the form. So the other thing that you can do is you can actually take a completely redesigned form. Like if you go online, I don't know if I've got uh, if you go online. Yeah, you get you get a lot of forms like this. You can take one of these forms. Most likely you would uh, hit a code pen website. So you can go to this kind of form and then take those and then just write PyScript there. So that is another easier way for you to create your own form or contact form rather than you designing everything from scratch. You take the existing form and CSS code, HTML and CSS code, and just do the PyScript part. So it'll be done whatever way you want to do. But uh, ultimately, uh, the, the like just to quickly recap, if you want to use PyScript with HTML form, first thing that you need to do is make sure that you are uh, loading the PyScript components. The second thing is when you're going to click for the action, you need to say PyS on click, like when you click, 
what is the function or what is something that you want to invoke in this case i want to call this function then you define the function and then rest is like whatever you want to do change the cell color come back here wait for it and then it is loading so i'm going to click this and then you can you can see this is coming inside this because now i have changed the p tax uh, style with, with this so you can make any change that you want but the core is you have you have your um, you have you have you have loaded the PyScript components. You have uh, the action here, and then you are defining the PyScript with the same function that you want. And then you are uh, doing DOM manipulation or whatever you want. If you don't want to do DOM manipulation, it's completely fine. You can still print it on console. So you can just say print like I can I can simply say print here. Okay, and then here I can go inspect element. Okay. And here, when when you when you go to the console, you can see right now you don't see anything here. When I click submit, you would actually see the same thing. Instead of getting printed here, you would see this here. See, Ethan Hunt is a good human from India. Click it again. Uh, maybe change the name. One little coder. Then you see one little coder is a good human from India. So it 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 is totally up to you. Whatever you want to do. Very similar like whatever you want to do with JavaScript, you can do it here as well. I would like to keep the code like this. Um, but uh, but the point is. You take a form, send it to PyScript, do something, send it back to the front end, which is the HTML using DOM manipulation, and then you can actually show it. So I hope this video was helpful to you in uh, combining DOM manipulation and also HTML form with PyScript. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, I'm so curious to see what you are building with PyScript. Let me know in the comment section. Take care. Happy coding.